Hi, I would like to welcome you to this ABB LM80 demo preparation tutorial. This procedure is developed for simple customer demonstrations of approximately 30 minutes. This tutorial refers to the components included in the LM80 demo kit. This kit can be ordered through Configurex, part number LM80.demo. The kit is delivered in a rugged case that fits all components. A LM80, a dust tube assembly, a LCD2 communication device, a communication package, and a battery pack. The first step is to verify the integrity of all components of the demo kit. The LM80 shall be duly identified as LM80.A, which designates the standard aluminum enclosure with no heated lens. Look for anomalies on the LM80 body. Make sure the lens are clear and clean. The small lens is the measuring laser output. The big lens is the optical receiver input. Remove the top cover and make sure connectors and relays are OK and clean. If anything doesn't seem right, please contact Quebec Factory. The dust tubes come with a gasket and a set of bolts and nuts. All parts should be clean and free from any particles that could alter the threads or the gasket surface. The LCD2 communication device connects through a serial connector. Make sure the cable and the connector are undamaged. When using a computer to set up the LM80, one requires either a serial cable or a USB to serial adapter. A CD is provided to install the drivers. Make sure all components are clean and undamaged. There shall be no missing pins on the connectors and they shall be rigid and stable. The battery pack has two sides. The top part connects to the LCD2 communication device or a computer. All pins on the connector shall be rigid and stable. The on-off switch shall be operable. Two battery boxes shall be in place. The LED shall appear undamaged. The bottom part connects to the LM80. The connector shall appear undamaged. The interior of the battery pack shall rotate and translate up and down freely into the metal jacket. Push the two spring-loaded golden pins and make sure they freely sink inside the battery pack body. Both pins should immediately return to their original state after releasing pressure. Batteries are critical to the demo course. The battery pack holds two 9-volt batteries that if fully charged and of industrial grade will run for 45 minutes of continuous operation. If poor quality batteries are used, this could be even less. If using the LM80.A.C equipped with heated lens, this goes down to 20 minutes. In the event of erratic readings on the LCD2, replace batteries. Always keep spare batteries on you. You are now ready to assemble and test the LM80. First, remove the cap on top of the LM80. Position the battery pack with the LED on-off switch and battery boxes facing up. Make sure to line up the two DB9 connectors. Also, verify that the two spring-loaded golden pins line up with the 0-volt COM and 24-volt positive terminals. Look at the bottom of the battery pack and rotate to align the serial connectors. Slowly lower the battery pack while assuring proper connector connection. Apply a light pressure to secure a connection. The inner section of the battery pack should not turn anymore. Adjust the metal jacket threads so that it turns clockwise without any restriction. Do not apply excessive force. If it won't turn freely, unscrew and readjust. Do not over tight. On top of the battery pack, Remove both embedded battery boxes. Hold the inner body of the battery pack and use a screwdriver or a pen tip to lift the boxes out. Match the polarity signs as you insert the batteries into the boxes. Replace the boxes in the battery pack. 
Check battery pack serviceability. Turn on the switch and make sure the LED turns red. Always turn off the switch when LM80 is not in use. Make sure the laser pointer, used only for alignment purposes, is visible and goes on and off every two seconds. After two minutes, this pointer will automatically turn off. If needed, reset the switch to reactivate. This visible laser is a Class 1M, hence must never be directed towards one's eyes. If no laser pointer is observed, it may have been deactivated. Refer to the operation instruction manual to reactivate. Turn off the battery pack switch. Connect the LCD2 communication device and turn it on through the switch of the battery pack. The LCD2 shall display distance readings. If not, reconnect the battery pack with a special attention towards the serial connectors. The use of the LCD2 permits the basic configuration of the unit. To enter the menu, press Exit. Use the up and down arrows to browse the different options. Go to Units. Press Enter and use the left and right arrows to toggle between feet or meters. Press Enter to apply. These steps apply to any other option in the menu. Refer to the LM80 Operation Instructions document for details about the menu. Several advanced settings are available to fine-tune the LM80 according to a specific application. To access advanced settings, connect the LM80 to a computer. First, connect the USB to serial adapter to a USB port. Make sure the LM80 is powered on. Upon connection, Windows may automatically install the appropriate driver for the adapter. Note the COM number as it appears on the screen. This information is also available in Windows Control Panel. Select Device Manager and expand the NOD, Ports, COM and LPT. Note the COM number for the prolific USB to serial COM port. On certain operating systems, the installation of the adapter drivers might not be automatic. If the port is not listed, use the provided installation CD and follow setup instructions. Accessing the advanced settings requires the use of a terminal emulator. ABB recommends the use of PuTTY, a free and open source software easily found on the internet. Although this video presents the settings for PuTTY, HyperTerminal on Windows XP or other terminal emulators could also be used. Access the software. In PuTTY, go to Connection, select Serial and use the following settings. Serial line to connect to, type the appropriate USB to serial adapter COM number. Baud rate, type 19200. Data bits, type 8. Stop bits, type 1. Parity, none. Flow control, none. To connect to the LM80, go to Session and select Serial. Type down a name for the new settings and click Save. Go to Logging and select the All Session Output setting. A log of the LM80 operations will be automatically saved. Click Open. In your Terminal Emulator window, hit Spacebar to enter the main menu. The main menu provides access to the same options as on the LCD2 device, 4 to 20 milliampers, relay and instrument settings. To access a sub-menu, type the associated number. To modify a setting, type the associated number and enter the new value. Press Enter. To exit the previous menu, press X. On certain options, typing the number will toggle text values. Advanced settings can be accessed by typing P. Different passwords determine which advanced menu is selected. To access the agent settings, 
Type Agent and press Enter. Through this menu, one can edit all available pre-configured programs. Type the program number to access it. Type the appropriate letter to change a setting. Before a demo, revert all settings from all programs to the default values. Use program number 4 for custom settings. To access the factory menu, go back to the main menu and type P. Type factory and press enter. Through this menu, one can review and edit several low-level settings. Type a two-digit number to access a setting. Enter special settings 09 to update the maximum and minimum bias values for dust applications. Enter hardware settings 10 to update the user set point limit with customer info. Use password FPGA. Enter actual customer set point. Beware of units and press enter. Refer to the advanced training material and the operation instructions manual for details about specific applications and settings. In case the level application requires the use of the dust tubes, clean all surfaces, including the LM80 bottom part, the dust tube plate, and both sides of the provided gasket. Place the gasket in the proper orientation and use two bolts to temporarily secure the assembly before fully tightening using all bolts and nuts. Remember that the LM80 safety certificate only applies when the original cap is on and with the use of appropriate cable glands for external powering. The battery pack is not certified. Once demonstration is over, always remove the battery pack as it may become jammed over time. Also, remove the batteries from the boxes so that they do not drain. Always store LM80 and battery pack separately. For more information about the demo kit or any other question regarding the laser level product, contact us at Quebec's factory.